We're in Hershey's Chocolate World. Check out all their Christmas happenings and treats. Let's see. I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And you're watching the theme park movies, and we're at Chocolate World again for Christmas. And it's packed. It's Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah, so we knew it was going to be a little busy today, uh, but they have one new offering that appeals to us. It definitely appeals to me as a big peanut butter fan. The Reese's Melted Hot Chocolate. Yes, something they haven't had last year or previously. Other than that, we haven't seen them advertise many seasonal offerings, but if you watched this before, you know what are we on the lookout for, Sam? All the Christmas trees, right? Yeah. yeah. They usually have a lot of cupcakes and cupcakes here. Yeah, the cupcakes are great. If it's just cupcakes and the sugar cookie, last year we had the sugar cookie. So if that's the only thing again this year, check out the last video. Uh, we'll put the link to it in the description. But if we can find other stuff that we're trying out, we're going to try show you guys all the decor. It's decked out, looking great. When you walk right in, you see the Hershey's uh, uh, Chocolate World ornaments. Uh, you can see uh, Garland right at the top of the Chocolate World sign. There's a giant tree when you walk into the front of Chocolate World. And also, someone uh, usually find at Universal has made a visit here, Sam. Who the is it? Grinch. Yes, it's Grinchmas here. I didn't know the Grinch can come to Chocolate World. <laughs> yeah, there's actually a meet and greet. Also, the Grinch seems to have stolen the Kissmobile and has decked it out in all Grinchmas atmosphere and, and Grinch looking stuff. It says Grinchman's actually right at the top of the uh, Kissmobile, right at the front. So it was really cool to see all the stuff and all the different ways that they've decorated and decked out Chocolate World. It really adds to great atmosphere here, but I would definitely recommend checking out maybe more on a weekend. I mean, not a weekend, on a weekday. Yeah. <laughs> so you ready? Yeah. All right, let's get that uh, hot chocolate. Let's see how it looks inside here. And let's see what type of different uh, things they have here. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, join us for our day at Chocolate World. For Christmas. So the chocolate tour line actually goes all the way. The queue is like so far away. Yeah. It's like at the entrance of the chocolate world. And they, but they are showing off some Christmas stuff that they have here. While you're waiting. They also have Grinchmas stuff too. Wow. Interesting. They have these standard Hershey's candy canes, gingerbread Kit Kats. I want to try the gingerbread cookie Kit Kat. Yes. Yeah, no, it looks, yeah, actually, we should try that out. They have the uh, Grinch, uh, that, that's Grinch Kisses. They have Advent Calendars as well. Uh, double Peanut Butter Reese's Big Cups with more peanut butter in them. Some Hershey's Trees, which are my favorite for the season. Yeah, lots of different stuff you could find here. And, you know, Ooh, tastes fresh from the Peanut brittle. Yes, peanut brittle inside the cups. This is speaking my language. Yeah, it's a mint mix. It's a Kit Kat mint. And then York, and then peppermint bark bells. Yeah, it looks good. This is a really good mix. I think we should get this. Every year, Chocolate World has this candy-built house. A lot of places do gingerbread bread houses. The Chocolate World does candy. Last year, you could actually meet Santa inside it. This year, he's in front of it. But you could see, if you look closely, it's actually got some cookies and cream, Hershey bars, and uh, some Rolos, some Kit Kats there for the ceiling. Very cool, very interesting, and very on brand for Hershey. All right, so big lines here. So we're going to try to condense all the information. Uh, there's a lot of different cupcakes, but the cupcakes aren't at the usual spot. You can actually find them right in front of the Yingling booth where you get all the beer, which is actually behind like us. So there's no place to sit, which is why we're here. Sam, what type of cupcakes did they have? They had a hot chocolate kisses one, right? Hot chocolate kisses, gingerbread Kit Kat, which is the one that we got. Yes. Oh, would you give a Kit Kat fun cake? Which is what we're going to try out. They also, at the Yingling booth, had a hot, what was it, hot caramel apple cider, right? Spiked cider. Yes. And it came with some caramel Rolos. Yes, two Rolos. Uh, also, they had this, uh, last year we had these sugar cookies. They have about a, a pack of four different sugar cookies. It looks here. really good. Yes, we wanted to try them out, but we're also going to be doing the crawl Hershey Park Christmas candy link. So make sure to check out that video if you're interested. Uh, we'll be eating a lot there, but we had the sugar cookie last year. And it was definitely a top item, right, Sam? I mean, it wasn't the best. It was right. good. I enjoyed it, I think, more than you did. 
Uh, let's see how this is, though. Now, I just want to note that we have not taken a sip. This is how much was in the cup yes. when it was given to us. It does look pretty. The rim is caramel on it. So that's where you're getting your caramel from. And we got a cinnamon stick inside, it looks like. Yeah. Real nice. Um, not the best, not bad. I'll give it a six. Solid. All right, so this is a gingerbread Kit Kat, right, Sam? Yes. I hope it's good. I want to pick up a bag. I have high hopes for this. We really liked the bun cake at Halloween, right? I really like the Kit Kat. Probably one of my favorite flavors of Kit Kats. I gotta save you half, it's very tiny. I'll give the Kit Kat a solid seven. That's good. All right, so Sam is about to try out this caramel, I'm sorry, gingerbread bun cake. This is what came with the Kit Kat. The Kit Kat came on top. The flavor is very strong. The gingerbread flavor. It gets a little bit dry, but you can kind of tell by looking at it. It's very dry. One to ten. I mean, it sounds like you're gonna give it below five. And the flavor is like super strong. The icing is nice. If there was more like cream inside, like when we had the bun cake at Halloween, remember? And the inside had something. This yeah. is just. Did you number it yet? Um, I'm thinking about it. Look, you can even tell how dry it is. I would give it a six. Yeah, so we'd probably recommend getting the either the cupcakes, probably that hot chocolate kisses cupcake, or some of the other cupcakes that they have. The icing is good, but I like the flavor profile of it. I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but it doesn't seem like to be a top item. I'm gonna have my hand at it. I'm gonna start with the icing top. Oh, it's really dry. Yeah, it's super dry. Oh, that's sweet. It's the not bad. flavor is very strong though. Do you taste it? Like it's like intense gingerbread. Like very like a spice cake, very strong spice flavor. Yeah, you're right, so the spice cake. I'm gonna go for a five. Yeah, yeah. Look at the other stuff. Sam just tried the caramel cider. Not her thing. And I love cider. <laughs> and it's just like it's so strong and it just has like a weird flavor. It's like not enjoyable. One to ten. Four. You've never, you barely get, you're very nice. You don't get and anything. I love hard five. cider. Like, I, look, I was like yeah. excited for it's that. It's not sweet, guys. It tastes like it's, it's like a hard liquor. Too much spice and too much alcohol. Hey, it's Kit Kat and Reese. Kick, oh, you're trying to take Reese's spotlight. Well, you got the, you got the hat on here. I really like your earmuffs, though, Reese. You're my favorite candy. Sorry, Kit Kat. Well, I think you're my wife's favorite. You're here for Grinchmas? Where's the Grinch at? Is he, is he coming out here later? Sleeping? Yeah, yeah, taking a nap. I'm Could... gonna take a nap. Where's the nap room? <laughs> Good thing you're staying warm. It's freezing out there, Reese. Could we get a selfie? Thanks, guys. All right, so we just spent Kit Kat and Reese, which is right in the food court. And that line wasn't long at all. Yeah, the food is actually the longest line. I think they're a little short staffed. And the they food. condense those two yes. fans. So yeah, it makes it a little bit longer. Uh, but the, the suits are the get-ups that they have in the Christmas gear. Very nice. Very nice. Also, right next to Reese and Kit Kat, where we met them, is the workshop where you could actually make a bunch of different things. Yeah, like, right they have like little kits that you buy, and then you could assemble them in this mm -hmm. area. It's not too crowded over there. Right next to us, they actually have an example of different things that you can make. And I believe the same spot where we met Reese and Kit Kat is also where you can meet the Grinch. But I don't think he's out today, unfortunately. No, I think he's just taking a nap. Yeah, or maybe he's in Universal. So maybe we'll have to go to Universal. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, it's, warmer. Nice. it's warmer. It's warmer. It's warmer. It's warmer. Yes. Uh, by the way, the hot chocolate is outside, so we're gonna try to brave the cold to get that hot. <laughs> hey, Santa. Hi, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You enjoying all those Chocolate World cookies and the Chocolate World chocolate here? How do you think I got like this? <laughs> I think they look pretty good. Well, oh, thank you. Yeah. That is feeling very good, but I feel really good because I get to see so many children and tell them how much sad in their families are. That's great. That's what Christmas is all about. I love bringing presents. We love each other. That's what makes it Christmas. We need to take a picture with you, Santa. Thank sure, you, thank you for enlightening that. us with uh, a little Christmas magic. Right, we just met Santa next to the chocolate house. I got my hood up because it's freezing outside. Uh, he was a good Santa, right, Sam? He was very nice. Yes. 
very good Santa. Uh, we're gonna brave the cold now to try out that hot chocolate. Uh, and you can just, you don't need a ticket. You just walk right up, you can take your own picture. You don't yes. have to buy the picture through them, which is nice. So we got the characters for free, Santa yeah. for free. You can take all your own pictures. And they those, do have a professional photographer there though, if you wanna pay for special pictures. And those lines weren't long, but the food lines in there are insane today. Yes, yes. So, even more of a character meet and greet day than a food day at Chocolate World. Just because we have a lot of eating to do at Christmas Candy Lane, so work out. All right, so the brand new Reese's Hot Chocolate, Sam, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> are you gonna take that up off the top? I think we just dunk it right and in. It already has some like Reese's in it already, and then they put the peanut like butter if drizzle I drop with the normal this, hot chocolate. No, it's gonna. It's supposed to melt. Spill out. No, I'm saying there's, oh. you know what I mean? I'm gonna just drink a little so that okay. there's... All right, so what do you think, Sam? Oh my God. Do you think it's better than the Simply Chocolate ones? I really like that peanut butter one that they had last year. I really like this. Just so you guys know, Simply Chocolate has hot chocolates in Christmas candy lane. Yeah, this there's is the hot four chocolate of them chocolate and they're like loaded. So they have like a bunch of stuff on top. This is good, like, it, oh, I almost dropped it, oh my <laughs> God. I would have been really pissed. Uh, it tastes like melted peanut butter and there's already crushed pieces in and then we're gonna... Oh, so you oh, drop that I'm right in. let it... Let it settle. Let it... <laughs> See, they're finally letting people in. It's like yeah, the line to get into the park was all the way back by they Chocolate They say possibly World. an hour just to get into the park. I heard mm -hmm. saying. It's really good. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh, wow. Also, we met John who is working at the hot chocolate booth, who Hi, watches John. the channel. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you, yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs> the, it's the Hershey S'mores area right outside Chocolate World, just so you guys So you know. can't get the hot chocolate inside yeah. of Chocolate World. Yeah, so you have to be cold to get the hot chocolate. <laughs> I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh, the, the pieces is now gone, or the cup's now gone. It is so good, honestly. I'm gonna give that an eight. I would just go to this booth and skip Chocolate World. Get chocolate world, yeah. <laughs> no, unless you want to meet the characters, I think it's been a hard food day. They also world. have those uh giant s'mores, yes, at this hot chocolate stand. Yes, yeah, so it's the smushy s'mores, they have the cookie dough bites, they have giant cookies, and this new melted hot chocolate, new Reese's melted hot chocolate. I've had the melted hot chocolate before, as well as nibby coffee. For me, that's an eight. What do you think, Sam? I give it a nine. Ooh. I can't believe you only said eight, and you're a Reese's guy. This is an eight for me. All right, so that does it for our time here at Chocolate World for Christmas. I always enjoy my time here, but I have to admit, a little rough with those Thanksgiving weekend crowds. Yeah. The crowds are rough, and unfortunately, I didn't think the food that we got on there was... Yeah, food we got wasn't that great, but we've had great options before. The pretzel. Are... The pretzel yes. remains Pretzel's a must. Also, the those are the brave people. Oh, yeah, those sliders. The gave, sliders. That line was yeah. insane. So we recommend those so options if you're here. Also, I think that cookie item oh that cookie box the that cookie box we've had the cookies last year so if you're interested in seeing what you thought of, a, of the sugar cookie check out that video it should be the description of this video and the hot chocolate the hot chocolate's this, a must for us a we're reese's fans just so you know so if you're not a peanut butter fan maybe not for you but for us that's eight and nine so, yeah, and the s'mores like i i want to get the s'mores they look so good but i feel like s'mores is just not a practical thing to yeah eat. yeah not in this filming you get messy in the cold it's, it's and too, stuff too too messy but we met Kit Kat, we met Reese, Santa, Santa Claus, and it was Grinchmas here at Hershey's Chocolate World, yeah, which you usually only find in Universal. All the employees have like Grinch yeah. shirts on. Really cool time, really unique time here at Chocolate World. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow and push this video out there into the YouTube stratosphere strat of you. Oh. Stratosphere, the YouTube this algorithm. That's why I don't say anything. <laughs> helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time that videos come out, which is Wednesday. Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. But make the days count. See you next time. That's all, folks. My mood improved tenfold yeah, it after did. getting this hot chocolate. Yeah. I can tell you, like, I was not happy inside. And one of the positives about the line being long is that there really is a lot of open seating out here and it being cold, but yeah, that line to get in the chocolate world, I mean, sorry, getting to Hershey Park is crazy. I guess we gotta go stand in it now.